Hi, I just finished programming the M-Bot to play the Imperial March, also known as Darth Vader's theme from Star Wars. Uh, here it is, I'll play it and then I'll tell you how I did it. So that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so what I did is I found the music first. Uh, this one happened to be on Pinterest, which is kind of a weird place to find music, I guess. But anyway, it's, uh, I guess, by flow key. <sighs> so I went through the song, and I looked at all the notes. And then, um, you know, I, I know how to read music. It's Faces in the Spaces, F-A-C-E. Lines are E-G-B-D-F, empty garbage before it ad flips. And then, after I wrote down all the notes over here, I just used Sublime Text, it doesn't matter. I wrote down what <clears throat> all the notes were, you know, first few were A, and I did a, a caret sign just to say that it's an octave higher. It's actually a C5, so I guess if I were to do this correctly, I'd say, you know, A4, 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 because middle C is C4. So you just, you know, you go from there and you just name all of the notes. And then, um, it's E5. And so pretend that I had done that without the carrots. That was just my own little notation for myself, but it wouldn't really make sense to anyone else unless they heard me explain it. So anyway, so I went through and I got all the notes. And then, uh, I put them into my M block. So let's see. Here it is. Um, I went and did it measure by measure. As you can see here, uh, I have a space between each measure to help myself keep track because it turns out it's kind of hard to know where you're at. You don't want to have to go back and count a whole bunch of things. So I just did the first measure and I did it here. And I did all the notes. And then I went through and I wrote the timing for each one. So one fourth means a quarter note. Uh, three sixteenths is a dotted quarter note. I'm sorry, it's a dotted eighth note. And one sixteenth is a sixteenth note. Uh, this is a dotted sixteenth note, sorry. And that's a sixteenth note. Uh, no. Hold on, jeez. Uh, okay, so three sixteenths. So an eighth note is an eighth plus a sixteenth. Yeah, I'm sorry, so this is a dotted eighth. That was right. And this is a sixteenth note. So you go through and you write the timings for each. You know, like you can see that that's a, a dotted eighth and that's a sixteenth note. If you don't know what they are, you can just search for sixteenth note or eighth note, and Wikipedia has a great little example, and it shows that the dot is half the time of the note that it's dotting. If that's even correct musical terms, probably not. But okay, so so you go in and you add all the notes, and then you go through and you add all the timings. And uh, I didn't know how to do a rest note. There's a way to play none. I don't know why you would play a note zero. I don't know what that means, because there's a stop tone as well, so whatever, I guess. I, I just put a weight in for the rests. Uh, a rest, here's a... You can see an, uh, an example of a rest here. It looks like a, I guess... I want to guess eighth note rest. You'd have to look it up. I'm pretty sure it's eighth note. But you can see here that there's... There's also things here called incidentals. So this means flat, so this is an A-flat here. And that's a A-flat as well. So you'll know in M-block there are no flats. It's just just the, the, the whole note, I guess. I don't know what to call it. The non-sharper flat. Um, so what you have to do once you once you get all the the notes and the beats ready then you say edit with Arduino IDE and that takes you here and then all of the tones are all together again and so I went through and I, I meticulously put enters after each measure 
so I could uh, track where I was at. And then I went online and I looked up this thing. It's called, it's, I can't even pronounce that. Liu Tao Motala. <laughs> anyway, it's a table of musical notes and their frequencies. There's a lot of theory that goes into how to tune things so they sound good when you modulate pitches or whatever. But the main point is, is this is, I think this is how a piano is tuned. And so if you go by this, most things will sound good. Uh, yeah. You, yeah, I'm not a musical theorist, but you could probably talk a long time about that. But anyway, as I mentioned probably before, a C4 is middle C. Oh, and it, it actually tells you right here, middle C. That's great to know. So anyway, uh, this column is a frequency, and that's what you need. So... You go through and you say, okay, let's see, on, you know, this measure one, one, two, three, four. Sorry, I can't focus. Well, you'll just have to trust me that I'm looking at measure. Okay, measure four. I have an A flat. And so that's going to be a A4 flat. So I go to this table, I look up A4 flat, and it says 415 hertz. So I go to Arduino and I look in the, what was it, fourth measure? So you go one, two, three, fourth measure. And it's the first note, so it's 415. Is that what I said? Yeah, it is 415. It's 415.3, but yeah, it was close enough. So you go ahead and do that for all the incidentals. And, uh, and then, oh, yeah. And so, so that'll how you, the first okay. So the buzzer dot tone it, it plays a note on your M core board. The first of this tone function is the frequency, and the second is the duration. And so I mentioned just now how you can go and get the correct frequency for each of the incidentals that were you weren't able to get with M block, but you also have to get the correct duration. And so a quarter note. Um, well, a whole measure is 1,000, which represents 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. And so a quarter note is 250 milliseconds. And so, um, you know, uh, 3 sixteenths of 1,000 turns out to be 188. And 1 sixteenth is 63. So let me uh, make sure that 1,000 divided by 16. Yeah, 62.5. So it's close enough to 63. You round up. So yeah, you go through and you, you calculate all of your different measurements. The triplet was a 12th because you have three beats in what a quarter note would normally take. So 4 divided by 3 is 12. And so you get your 12th notes. And then when you're done, you go ahead and upload it. Even though it's not through M block, you can upload it with the Arduino IDE because it's Arduino based. And you get your lovely song. I'll play it one more time and, and then I'll say goodbye. Oh yeah, and uh, you'll notice that there's a part in there that repeats. So I noticed that before I went through and, and did all the notes. So I was able to finish the part that repeats and then copy and paste it so I didn't have to do all those extra notes twice for the incidentals and the, the timing. So that's something to look out for too. All right. Uh, bye.